So in the previous classes, we have seen uh, four cases uh, where uh, we were calculating the force exerted by your uh, liquid jet or fluid jet on stationary. Okay, I have told you that we will be looking for two cases. The first one is for stationary. And the second one, when this plate is stationary is represented by this symbol, as I have told you, keep this in mind. Do not forget to mention this in your drawing. Okay. And when this symbol is not there, then this plate will also be moving with some velocity. In that situation, we have to take care of that relative velocity. Okay. So I will only consider or I will only revise uh, or we will see the final formula and we will uh, start solving the numerical. Sir, so instead of drawing, we can write it as fiction, no, sir? Uh, symbolically, also, you should know how to represent it. Because if you remember, in your uh, optic physics, okay, when you were, uh, or in your mechanics also, okay, uh, to represent anything that is fixed, like any beam problem or cantilever beam problem, okay, you are showing this symbol now to show that this end is fixed. Yes, sir. Okay. So now let's come to the formula for the four cases we have seen. What are those four cases? Uh, plate is fixed vertically. Perpendicular plate yes. fixed. All are fixed. What whatever we have seen, they are fixed. Second one is having uh, some inclined elevator. Inclined plate. Okay. Uh, the third case that we have seen is when your curved plate, when the plate is curved and jet is hitting at center, jet is hitting at center. The fourth case that we have seen, uh, that is your curved plate. Striking tangentially. Striking tangentially. Very good. So these are the four cases that we have seen. But two things that are common to all the cases is first one is your assumption. The assumptions we have taken is your plate is frictionless. Plate is smooth. or we can say frictionless. In the second assumption that we have considered uh, is loss zero. of energy due yes. to impact is zero. Zero, loss of energy due to impact is zero. This is assumption for all the four cases. Okay, I will write assumptions. All of you must remember this. Okay, so this is the first point that I would like to tell you. The second point is what formula we are using, Fx. Here, x is representing that we are calculating the force exerted by the jet on the plate, okay, in the direction of jet, direction. This is the direction where we are calculating. So here Fx is representing that. And what formula is this? Rate of change of momentum in the direction of force. So what is the rate of change of momentum? Initial momentum minus final momentum upon time. So mass we can take out as a common. So mass flow rate will come outside initial velocity minus final velocity. And finally, we are getting this as formula for your first case. That is plate is fixed and perpendicular, okay? So you somewhere keep in your notebook, all of you, because this formulas will be useful. The first one when the plate for first case, Fx equals to, all of you write down this in your net, notebook, somewhere on the notebook, rho a v square, where rho is your density, a is your cross-sectional area of the nozzle and v is the velocity of the jet. Okay, on one side on the top right corner, you can write down the formula that will be helpful for solving the numerical. This is the case where we have seen the plate is at some angle. This is making some angle that is theta. Okay. And here what we were doing, we were calculating force 
in two direction the first one is this one that is your force normal to this plate force normal to this plate and after this what we are doing we are breaking this into components that is your fx and your fy okay and this angle is nothing but your 90 degree minus theta okay so we will first calculate your normal force then we will break the component to get fx and fy fx is nothing but the force that the jet is acting on your fixed plate now for this we have used that same funda and we have calculated i am coming to the final expression this fn fn that is your normal force equals to rho a v square sin theta how this expression is coming we have seen in the last class okay derivation part anyhow i am um, trying to recap all those things in a fast glance okay so you keep this as your second formula for your top right top right corner here you write down the first formula this is your second formula now based on this fn we have calculated fx which is given by this formula fx so the third formula that you can write fx equals to rho into a into v square into sine square theta okay similarly we have calculated fy also that is perpendicular to your plate so this is coming this formula so all the formula you write at one place it will be helpful for your solving the numerical third case that we have seen when the fluid is hitting this curved plate this is your curved plate okay and it is hitting at the center line and here it is written that fixed curved plate so it is symmetric about both the cases and since there is no loss of uh, loss during the impact so this velocity v at the outlet is equals to the velocity at the inlet this also you keep in your mind and um, it is making some angle theta with your horizontal axis so we have taken two component uh, horizontal direction v cos theta vertical direction we have taken v sin theta okay so based on this we have done your uh, calculation for uh, uh, the force magnitude of the force what will be the formula and we have obtained force in the direction of jet okay the formula will remain the same mass flow rate v1x minus v2x okay when you will substitute those values this is your first one fx given by fx this also you can note it down rho a v square 1 plus cos theta fy you will get this much that is your minus rho a v square into sin, sin theta and one more thing that here is to be noted is your angle of deflection angle of deflection is what suppose this is our curved plate okay and the water jet is hitting like this okay so it will be reflecting in this direction tangentially outward so when we will extend this line so and this will be coming back so this is your suppose you are considering this as theta so it will be 180 degree minus theta this is called as your angle of deflection okay so in your numericals if suppose angle of deflection is given so you have to equate it with this value and thereafter you can calculate the value of theta this also you keep in your mind now the fourth case that we have seen where now we are striking this jet tangentially across this curved plate and fluid is getting exit also tangentially as there is no loss so inlet velocity and outlet velocity remains the same you have to break the component at inlet and outlet of this velocity okay so horizontal component in this direction at inlet horizontal component in opposite direction at outlet okay so that's why we are using here this negative sign this is a fast recap we have seen these things yesterday fx equals to rho a v square into cos theta so force component in x direction we are calculating and y direction we are calculating 
So what is F Y you are getting? F Y you are getting as zero. Okay. So only we will get in this case force in x direction that is given by this one. So you note down this formula also. Based on these formulas, today we will solve the numerical. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's see. Question is there on your screen. I will read it out. Then we will see what is the information is given over here. Okay, and what it is asking for, and then what will be our formula that we have to use to solve the numerical. Now, all of you, pay attention and listen carefully. Find the force exerted means what we have to find. We have to find force. By the jet of water of diameter seventy five mm means some d value is given seventy five mm. Take care of the units on a stationary plate. Now it is clear that the plate is stationary. Okay. When the jet strikes the plate, when the jet is striking the plate normally, okay. Now it is clear that the plate is stationary and it is perpendicular. when the water jet is hitting it the velocity is also given it is hitting it with velocity v diameter d diameter i have written velocity i am writing 20 meter per second now this 75 you can convert into meters so it will become 75 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter i will write here okay if you know the diameter you can easily calculate your area what is the formula for area pi by 4 into d square okay and we know that the simple formula that is to be used just now you have written fx fx means the force exerted by the jet on that plate in the direction of fluid flow equals to what is that formula who will tell me anyone from the class What is this formula? F X. Rho a v square. Rho a v square. Okay. So this you have to use and you have to solve it and you have to tell me the answer. Now let's see who is telling me the answer first. Everything is on your screen. You have to solve it and you have to tell me the answer. And all of you try to solve this. Okay. <coughs> you have to write down the given data diameter of the jet then you have to calculate the area velocity is also given okay so the force by the jet on the water on a stationary vertical plate the formula is rho a v square where rho is the density of the fluid what is here fluid fluid is One. water One thousand seven hundred and sixty-six point eight. Can you please type in the chat box so that other students can also match it with? I am expecting answers from maximum number of students. Don't sit idly. Yes, very good. Three one nine. He has written some value one seven six six point eight. You forgot to mention the unit. Unit of force is your newton. Okay, very good. Uh, two students, two students have written the answer. I want uh, maximum participation. Okay, very good. Third student have written the answer. Now let's see what is the answer. You will get the value for your A this much. Okay. <coughs> velocity is given you have to put the force value and what you are getting is 1766.8 newton very good all of you whatever you have written is correct answer 319 uh, 309 please cross check the place of decimal i think you forgot to put that decimal rest everything is correct so this is as simple yeah. this one uh the answer that 
we have obtained is 1766.8 newton and i think you have written 17671 one digit is extra maybe you forgot to put that decimal or you cross check your uh, calculation so you have seen how simple numerical is this okay suppose in your examination how it will be asked now i am telling you they will ask you for the derivation of the uh, expression of this force along with that they will put this simple numerical and it will be for uh, 10 marks or nowadays uh, the trend is making for 14 marks i think so either it will be for 10 marks or it will be for 14 marks what it will carry it will carry your uh, derivation derivation plus one small numerical so you tell me whether this is easy to score or not this is very easy okay okay, okay. Yes, sir uh, so now we are going to solve the next numerical and i hope you all are ready to compete yourself okay not any other student you compete always with yourself the next question is on your screen the water is flowing through a pipe at the end of which a nozzle is fitted okay the diameter of the nozzle is given 100 mm okay head of the water at the center of nozzle is 100 meter find the force exerted by the jet of water on fixed vertical plate if coefficient of velocity is given by 0.95 okay now here what it is saying there is some nozzle so one pipeline i had made then after that i have reduced the cross section okay so it is connected to some tank suppose this is connected to some tank the head available at the center of this tank h i am writing it as capital h h equals to head available at the water is 100 meters due to this reduced cross section the water jet will be going like this having increased velocity so at this location the diameter is given what is the diameter it is 100 mm this you have to convert it into meters so it will become 100 into 10 raised to the power 3 meter and if you have the diameter you can calculate area okay given by pi by 4 into d square okay now the force exerted by the jet you have to calculate if coefficient of velocity is here given okay how you will get the uh, velocity over here and how you will correlate this coefficient of velocity we know that uh, in our previous chapter we have seen that the velocity v is given by root under 2 into g into capital h this is our theoretical velocity now here this factor will come into picture coefficient of velocity i will write it as cv equals to which one is greater always theoretical or actual which velocity will be more actual velocity theoretical theoretical will be more so keep that velocity theoretical and the denominator and velocity actual you can keep on the numerator, numerator position then only you will get anything less than 1 just for your uh, memory purpose i am telling you this okay so using this formula you can you calculate your theoretical velocity once you get the theoretical velocity cv is gi uh, given so you will get actual velocity if you get the actual velocity rest of your problem is solved because the force in the direction fx in the direction of the jet is given by rho into a into v square v you have obtained here area you have calculated here density of water everyone knows it is 1000 kg per meter cube so this is how you are going to solve this numerical now start solving and tell me the answer the students who are not able 
to give the answer for the previous numerical activate yourself okay and try to solve it and tell me the answer you can type in the chat box everything is there in front of you all you need is to know how to use calculator diameter of the nozzle first it is given head well head of the water coefficient of velocity area of the nozzle you have to calculate based on that you will get some theoretical velocity using this formula root under 2gh whenever this coefficient term is coming keep in your mind that this is always less than 1 less than 1 okay when it will be less than 1 when the parameter which is having higher value when it is come to the denominator then it will be less than 1 okay so why they, this actual velocity is less than theoretical velocity there are many factor you can consider friction as one of them so from here you will get this actual velocity once you know the actual velocity you have to substitute the values in your force term force is given by rho into a into v 42.07 sir very good uh, you just type in the chat box and let's see what other students are putting and then we will then i will uh, show here on the slide so that everyone can match it two student uh, every time both of you forget to mention the units it is force so you have to write newton Yes, velocity now sir meters per second a uh, final expression what is asking in the question uh, here it is written find the force exerted and we are fx fx we are calculating force now velocity you are, that is your intermediate value here you will get some value velocity and that will be in meter per second and the force whatever you will get it will be in newtons what my point only two students what about the others so its velocity sir one second sir in force which velocity should be taken sir actual or theoretical uh, you have to consider uh, actual velocity 330.24 sir okay newtons okay very good let's see the result now here you can see are you getting this as your area you can cross check those who are solving it 44 meter per second is your theoretical velocity then you will you have to substitute that velocity to obtain the actual velocity you will get 42.08 meter per second yes sir and then you have to substitute in your force term that is this formula then you will get 13.9 kN or in terms of newton it is 13907.2 newton this is your correct answer please cross check your answers is is it clear to everyone please type in please type in the chat box c yes clear sir let me see how many of you are actively solving it now we have 42 participants and i am expecting everyone to please solve this okay and you tell me the answer in your chat box 
if you are active now half of your uh, problem will be solved now only you need not to focus that much during your examination period you just have to revise it if you will not focus now it will be difficult during the examination period okay happy to see that many of the students have written clear sir but i want to see from all of them the answers also okay very good now we will see the third problem of the day and i hope everyone is ready more number of answers i am expecting now the question is on your screen first read out the question what it is asking it is asking oh, let me take the pen okay a jet of water of diameter d is given 75 mm with a velocity 25 meter per second strike a fixed plate okay plate is fixed now it is clear in such a way that angle between the jet and the plate is 60 degree now it is clear that the plate is inclined so you have to use the formula for inclined plate suppose the plate is inclined and jet is hitting at the center okay like this so find the force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction normal to the plate normal to the plate means you have to use the formula for fn in the direction of the jet you have to calculate fx so today also we have written the formula for this you have to see that rest every value is written here diameter d is 75 mm if you will convert it into meter it will become 75 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter based on this diameter calculate the area 5 by 4 into d square okay after this you have to apply the formula for inclined plate now i'm waiting for the answer because formula is with you write down the given data diameter what area you have obtained what velocity you have obtained okay my dear students no need to write this complete statement of the problem okay you just write down what is the given what is what you have to calculate so don't waste time in writing this problem anyhow this uh, uh, recorded lecture i will upload by evening to your canvas account so just write down the given data put the formula and tell me the answer in your chat box very good 3 3 4 very good fn and fx both the values he has written fn is your normal force given by the formula rho a v square into sin theta where rho is nothing but density of water density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube per cube and force in the direction of jet fx you will get rho a v square sin square theta all the values are given you have to substitute that value and you have to tell me the answer till now i have uh, received only one answer Three one nine. Okay, we got the value of F N. Other team members. Three one six three zero five three one one. Just put down what the value you are getting. Let me reveal the part of the solution. you can cross check those who are solving are you getting the value of area this much 
Like this, we have to substitute the values of rho a and v square. Theta is 60 degree. So you will get this as the force no in the normal direction. Similarly, substitute the values for rho a and v and theta here in this formula to get this as your answer. Very good, 318, 316, 309. All of you obtained the right answer. Simple formula you have to use. Okay, so that formula you keep in your mind. This we are calculating for a single plate. Okay, suppose there will be a series of plate mounted on some circular periphery and then this jet is striking it. That is nothing but your turbine. Okay, that we will be studying in your next unit. Here we are studying it for single plate. What we will do in turbine? We, will, we are going to do, there will be some circular, suppose uh, soft or periphery will be there, okay? And oh, double circle has been formed. Suppose one, circle you have on here now we are studying for a single plate suppose this is your single plate on which some fluid is striking on this plate suppose a series of plate is mounted on this circular periphery and now you are hitting with the jet of water from this direction then what will happen it will start rotating this is nothing but your turbine and this is what we will study in your next unit so the shapes and size of this plate is different for different type of turbines. So based on that, their efficiency, their uh, inlet conditions, different type of turbines are there. We will study all of them in detail in your next unit. Now, next problem on your screen. <laughs> now, a jet of water of diameter is 50 mm strikes a fixed plate i'm highlighting the important points okay in such a way that the angle between plate and the jet is theta is also given force exerted in the direction of jet force watch it carefully force exerted in the direction of jet here it is fn or fx fn fn or fx yes. FX. FN, sir. FX, here it is writing in the direction of the jet. If it is written, force exerted in normal direction, then FN will come into picture. Okay. So FX is 1471.5 Newton. Now determine rate of flow of the water. Here force is given. Suppose the formula for your force is, what is the formula for the force? FX. Rho A V square sine square theta, okay. Fx, rho A V square sine square theta. You know the value of rho, you know the value of A, you know the value of theta, you know the value of Fx. What is unknown? This velocity. So from using this equation, you will get uh, what is the value of this V velocity. Once you know the value of V, uh, what it is asking? Uh, rate of flow of water. Okay, rate of flow of water. What is the formula of rate of flow of water? That is nothing but your discharge, mass flow rate. It will be given by A into V. So A, you already know, okay, because the diameter is given from the diameter, you can calculate your area, pi by four into D square and velocity, you get it from here. Substitute the value to get this Q value. Now start solving it. How to solve the numerical I have written on your screen. Write down the given data. Given values are here, diameter of jet, area, angle, fx. The formula for your fx is written here, rho a v square sine square theta. From this expression, calculate the value of v. Rest everything is given. 
once you get to know what is your velocity area is known to you substitute the value to tell me what is this discharge very good 334 he has written in liter per second as well as meter cube per second very good waiting for other students to answer here don't feel like those who are not posting here don't feel like you don't know how to solve it you know only thing is you have to focus okay maybe you are taking this uh, casually that's why you are not putting the answers here whatever is your problem if you you can discuss with me i will resolve it but solve it formula is in front of you simply you have to use your calculator that's it i'm revealing the part of the solution given data based on the given data you can calculate your cross sectional area substitute the values in the equation for your fx and you will obtain velocity as 54.77 meter per second you put that value in your discharge formula and you will get in meter cube per second that is 0.0175 meter cube per second or 107.5 liters per second very good 309 you have written the velocity as 54.8 meter you have written ha huh? unit of velocity is meter or meter per second sir meter per second it's a not per okay okay so here uh, you have to write 54.8 meter per second very good now substitute this value in your discharge and you will get this answer if in the question it is not asking for liter per second then up to here also it is correct you will get full marks if this numerical is clear to everyone please chat in the tab, uh, chat box c s clear sir so we have seen the numerical for stationary flat plate we have seen the numerical for uh, stationary inclined plate now one more numerical we will see for curved plate so i am moving on to the next problem <clears throat> question is on your screen see the question carefully diameter of the jet of water is given 50 mm velocity is given as 40 meter per second strikes a curved plate see here curved plate fixed so this also is to be highlighted okay because here we are studying fixed plate so it is coming fixed but in during your examination we will be finishing all the things so you have to see carefully whether the plate is fixed or it is moving so you can see here it is fixed it is symmetrical means uh, it is hitting at the center location suppose this is your curved plate and this is your water jet it is hitting at the center so it since it is fixed you can specify like this and it will be exiting at this location so here you can draw the velocity diagram do not forget to drawing this velocity diagram here it will be b and horizontal component will be b cos theta and this vertical component will be b sin theta okay rest you can write down the formula and you can solve it now see here if the jet is deflected through an angle of 
120 degree at the outlet of the plate okay so angle of deflection is this written so how you can find out the theta value you have to extend this line this is coming and intersecting at this location so this is your 180 degree minus theta and this is equals to 120 so what will be your theta your theta will be 180 degree minus 120 so you will get 60 degree what it is asking it is asking for the force exerted by the jet in the direction of jet means it is asking for fx so see in your list of formula what is fx whether all the way write down the given data the diagram is here in front of you so i will clear what i have written there now you have to write down the given data and then you have to write down the formula and you have to solve it diameter is given in mm convert it into meter based on that calculate the area see the steps how to solve it velocity you have to calculate oh, it is given 40 meter per second yeah 40 meter per second angle of deflection 180 minus theta so finally you will get theta equals to 60 degree 309 got the answer as 2352 newton very good let's check the answer partially revealing the answer area you will get this much theta you will get this much the formula for your fx equals to rho a v square into 1 plus cos theta and you substituting that value you will get the final answer as 4711.15 please cross check your answer 309 this much you will get How many of you got the answer? Okay. Two answers have that I can see here, waiting for the others. one two three four four answers i can see here four of the student got the answer other students also try to solve it five very good rest of the student if there is any doubt there is any point where you have any doubt you can ask me or else you can type cs in the chat box clear sir cs if you have any doubt you can ask me if you don't have any doubt i will move ahead or it is almost uh, now 150 so we will be stopping here uh, is there any next numerical on the slide no we have now force on vertical plate okay force on vertical plate see this plate is in now in vertical position this plate is vertical but what extra here you can see 
this plate is also moving with velocity u. Okay, so I'm not going for its derivation. I'm just showing you the introduction part. Everything will remain the same. What is going to change is we have to consider, earlier we are using this velocity of jet only. Now we have to consider the velocity of this moving plate also, okay? So here relative velocity will come into the picture that is V minus U. In all the formula, wherever you are using only V, now you have to put V minus U, okay? So when you are using that formula for this case, F equals to rho into A into V square earlier you are using, now you have to use rho A into V minus U square. That's it. This is the only change that you have to bring into the picture. Okay, sir. Okay. So now I will uh, stop the class over here. Thank you, sir. Okay, chal.